going on, everybody? DJ Go Ham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Fives of News, man. Hashtag Fives of News. Today we got 79 mods on the testing list. A surprise mod was updated this morning. Today is the next episode in the Community Spotlight series. And we got six modders to talk about, including updates from BC Bueller Farms and Hispano Modding. Check it out. Starting off today with the mods and testing. Currently, we've got 79 mods on the testing list. 68 are in PC testing or stage one, and 11 are in console testing or stage two. Some notable mods in PC testing today include tank containers, Klaus Choreo US, and the Case H Steiger series large frame. Also in testing, we have the Lizard Service Vehicle, JCB Backhoe Loader, Container Shed, and Truck Toolbox. Rounding out PC testing, we have Michigan Shedback, American Carport, Lizard F-350, yes, that 350, and the Kilbro 1600. We've also got some notable maps in PC testing today, including Neverland, somewhere in Thurungia 3, Michigan Farms, Frankenmuth, Prairie Farm, Rinnaboo, Black Mountain, Montana, and Landsberg Farm. Jumping down to console mods and testing, we have Universal Trailers, Farm Placeables Pack, and Bond Silage Bulk Tank. Also in console testing, we have Shed Large Open, Brazilian Water Tank, Lizard Series, and Pallet with Used Stacks. And your maps in console testing today include East Vineland, New Jersey, USA, Prevec 22, and BR-163 ILM-S. With all that being said, we still have 144 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is about 5 work days. A surprise update has dropped on the mod up this morning for the Object Storage mod from GTX. This is update 1.2, fixed conflict with new Object Storage specialization, added in game update 1.9, check translation added, and added one new placeable building, the Bell Shelter. This mod is unfortunately still PC and Mac only, however, with the new bell and pallet storage that was just added to the base game yesterday, you can pretty much do everything that this mod could do, but all in one, so that's pretty cool. Today is the next episode in the Community Spotlight series featuring Kermit from Giant Software and his interview with Ola Haldor, creator of the Renaboo map, and some others totaling 13 published mods on the mod up for FS22. The live stream starts at 2pm Eastern Time and should last for about an hour. I'll see you guys in the chat. Jumping over to our modder news, Basey Bueller Farms has removed the transport trailer from his swather pack after patch 1.9 created a problem with this functionality. He has tried to find a solution, but has been unable to find one that could work for everybody. The update to the Swather Pack will be submitted soon for testing, which will include some changes to go along with the upcoming Edgewater update, which we should expect both of those mods, the Edgewater map and the transport trailer, uh, or Swather Pack rather, to be updated at the same time. Additionally, we've also got some information on his Soaring Eagle drive over, which is currently awaiting licensing for all platforms. And of course, as you saw, his Kilbro cart is still going through testing right now. Moving on, Hispano modding shows off a few more screenshots of his flat rack container including a shot of it folded which is really cool and we get to see the logging version of it too so if you're in need of a new way to transport bells pallets or logs here you guys go the mod looks to be about done so hopefully we'll see it going through testing soon one mod that is going through testing are the liquid containers and pappy tractor gaming has released a preview of those liquid containers so definitely check out that video it is in french however there are english auto subtitles if you guys want to use those link below heatway modding's john deere 4320 is about ready to go currently the mod has the same sounds as the 4020 that we already have however he is trying to find some high quality 4320 sounds to replace them with otherwise everything else is looking great and he dropped another video on his youtube showing off yesterday so Check that out if you haven't seen it already. A few days ago, some mods from Connect Modding were released on the Mod Hub and then quickly removed. Well, today we have found out why. These mods were set to release today on the Mod Hub the Solid Spander AP 12000H Fertilizer Spreader and the Bazooka Premium 25 Auger Wagon. Both of these mods are scheduled for release on the Mod Hub today and should be for all platforms. So. Keep a lookout for them on the new mod video later today. LR Modding is continuing work on his John Deere 2510H Dry Nutrient Applicator. So far, the modeling, UV map, textures, UDIM, and Giants Editor work are all completed. Now, he's working on getting it all in the game. As mentioned before, we'll be having two different versions of this, one for ammonia and one for solid fertilizer, this one being the latter. In the past, he has released mods first for PC and Mac on third-party sites and then dropped it on the mod up for all platforms, and I would assume that's probably what he's going to do with this mod bag as well, but we're just going to have to wait and see. And lastly today, it looks like Peter J. Modding is back after a break since June of last year. 
Back then, he was working on the Massey Ferguson 35, and by the looks of it, he's picked right back up where he left off. We don't have any more information other than the few screenshots that you guys are seeing here, which he's shared over the past few days. But I will be keeping a close eye on him over the coming weeks to see what he's up to. And you can find out what I've been up to during this Civil War segue to the outro. The I don't think that made any sense, did it? Oh well, just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. And you can check out this entire video in the form of a news article of farmsubnews.com. Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod is going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of farming simulator well guys that's it for today hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure your notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel that's it hope you have a great day we will see you later Peace. I've heard a couple guys talking about problems after update 1.9 from yesterday. You have any problems?